Hey guys and girls, what's going on? War1177 here, and I'm going to continue on with the challenge runs. We've made it through 8 so far, I'm just trying them once each time. So we're at number 9, Isaac was good today. I was going to ask what this challenge run is all about, because I was kind of curious. But it looks like my questions have already been answered. Starting off with an all stats upgrade in the Halo, and it looks like Holy Grail, because we have 2 HP upgrades. Because we have five five hearts instead of three the all stats upgrade would have given me an hp up as would the holy grail i'm pretty sure so it looks like those are the two items that i'm going to start with just going to go out on the limb and assume that there's no item rooms because there haven't been for a while so getting that key not nearly as important as it would have been on an xl basement or cellar floor like this one is so, I have to stop taking bad damage. That's kind of a must right now. Hopefully this whole Isaac was good today. Hopefully it means I get a lot of luck to start out this run. I don't know if that's actually true. Obviously, I'm going to at least attempt to find the secret room. Wasn't there. So it's not a big loss. That's the bonus of flying. Some free money. Didn't take that soul heart because I want to go to the curse room. And I'd much rather lose a red heart than a soul heart. Because I can't get back a soul heart. Once it's gone, it's gone. But I can always regain red health. The trick now, as always, is to remember. And that could be difficult. Another tinted rock provides more opportunity okay for soul hearts or a golden chest I guess that's also possible if it want to happen now these spiders are just jumping way too far I could try and save the key for a secret room but I'll tell you what if I get one more key I'm going to be using it on that golden chest and I'd be extremely surprised if I got anywhere close to a deal with the devil on this floor. Because my play has been awful. Running into spiders left and right. And in some cases, spiders were running into me too. That's a fantastic nickel. Makes me very thankful that I saved the key. Although... I could have always gone to judgment. Speaking of which, I'm not going to waste time. Let's just double the keys right away, go to judgment here. But I was saying before, I could always go to judgment, maybe get a shop item and save myself the key. Well, while notched, ac while notched axe isn't good, it's better than nothing. So, might as well take it, because if I come across a tinted rock, don't have any bombs. Never mind, I found a bomb. But it would have been kind of useful then. But that's about the only situation where I can imagine it's useful. Because I can fly, so it's not like I'd needed to get to any money or anything. Can't re-roll it because we don't have the D6. So it's stuck there, and I guess the good news is I won't see it again because I did pick it up. I'm going to go explore the rest of the floor first. I think that's the smart move here. Sure, there are no item rooms to come across and make myself stronger before the boss. But I'd just like to clear up the rest of the floor first. Never know what I could find. still have to find the shop actually maybe look for the secret room not sure okay yeah he's just gonna sneak out of the corner there kind of what I was expecting I always expect this spider just to cheat just a little bit oh could have gotten hit there it's typically safe if you hide in the corner. 
when it's when the troll bomb starts in the middle took more bad damage there so don't know what's going on right now if this is full health that's fantastic bombs are key well you can all see how useful that is I'm gonna take the candle and I'm gonna buy the key because I'd like to open up that golden chest that definitely interests me and you know what I'm gonna take the soul hearts before going to the boss rooms I got an my key back plus two cents so basically I lost three cents on the deal that was not a waste of time gained half a soul heart and pick up the last soul heart and just based on the room layout or the floor layout I should say I see three possible locations for the secret room actually yeah well there looks like there's four but the one that was connected to the curse room wasn't there so that eliminates one possibility therefore only seeing three have famine he's not too tricky especially if I could actually hit the fly with the candle yeah just keep doing that I want to get rid of your fly and fire and fire now run away use the candle to burn his shots get that cube of meat and let's move on for all the times I said that I don't deserve a deal to devil maybe just maybe if I beat pin without taking any damage which I almost did there I would have gotten a deal to devil but it didn't happen and I'm not too surprised the good news is I have 15 cents and a key heading into the next floor therefore the shop is definitely a possibility that was bombs or key I'd rather take the chariot to be honest it's good to know that's there as a kind of just in case situation had to get rid of one quickly let's go like this found the boss room already so I'm kind of curious what's in here that's typically the room that would be adjacent to the boss trap or to the boss room not the boss trap room okay champion Gertie how did you not get hit there what kind of sorcery was this it's those nubs that I'm concerned about now also these grandpa flies that one fly was doing a fantastic job of chasing me as are most of these red flies they're like super chasers but yeah if you keep spawning those grandpa flies we can all have a good time here just keep them to that side because they only do spawn from that side another soul heart and with the candle makes my play a little bit better therefore didn't get hit on that floor I could take flying for one heart container or guppy's tail see the trick with guppy's tail is you need keys I'm not getting too many keys so I don't think I'm gonna take that deal you could open up a lot of golden chests and quite possibly get your heart container back because if there's an item in a golden chest there's a good chance it's an HP upgrade so it would kind of pay for itself in that way but it all comes down to if you have the keys to open them but now that I've said I don't have keys or that keys aren't spawning too much they're gonna start spawning like no tomorrow but now that I said that did I change that and now they're not gonna spawn at all safety cap you know what I'd rather just stick with nothing to be honest 
back to full red health. Don't need the ladder. Don't feel like buying a key. So, I'm gonna keep on moving on. Thought I missed that candle shot there. That's gonna be my main method of taking out these guys until I get some more damage. It's fast and it's pretty efficient. Can't really blow up the barrels with the candle. Can't do everything for me. Have to do a little bit of work myself. And there's a good chance that the secret room is going to be right here. And there it is. I find it's typically not adjacent to a boss room, but of course, with many other, like many other things, there are exceptions to that rule. It's just not the most common thing to find. So if there is a possibility for a secret room beside a boss room, I would try a different place if it was, if there are other places to look first. I have the money to play Judgment, so therefore I will. HP upgrade for, I think, around 4 cents or something? That's a good deal. This is Curse of Darkness, so for all I know, this could be a library and not a shop. Hoping for a shop though. Sure enough, it is. And it's got a pretty good item, the compass. And I'm actually going to take the soul heart too. Stock up on that health. And until I find more money, or maybe more red health, I'm going to kind of take a pass on the arcade. Because the main thing that I'm looking for in the arcade is the blood bank. And if I want an HP upgrade out of there, I'm going to need to find some more red health first. Just kind of ho hover over this pit here. Yeah, that's nice and all, but I'm going to just take a pass on that. I thought there's a few more rooms to go through before I was going to get to a new room. It doesn't matter too much. Could have been a tricky room. Turned out wasn't too bad. Now I was trapped over the rocks there with the flies inching closer to me and myself not being able to shoot. Therefore, slightly scary situation. Now Wrath is actually a little tricky to get candle shots in on. Kind of have to trick him into shooting a bomb in your direction. But of course, make sure you can stay out of the blast radius. And he blew himself up. Drop Mr. Boom. And you know what, Mr. Boom? Why not save me a bomb? Here's a golden chest and inside. More bombs and a lot of money. That's very nice. Extra money. That's enough money to that allows me to go to the shop on the next floor. Fantastic candle shot there. Got all three of those meat glob guys. And I think this is a new new room here. Couldn't quite get both of them. And let's trick the turrets. Goodbye. That was a little bit too much on an angle there. There we go. Second guy went a little better. And why not pick up Judas's tongue here? Let's go like this. And really try and get one of them out of the ooze state. That works. This is a new pill. Let's test it out. Telepills takes me a few rooms right of the boss room. Let's pick up the cherry card. Go into here. It's Chad. Of course it's Chad. Did you expect anything different than Chad? 
Well, actually, yeah. I haven't seen Chad in a long time, so... Wasn't quite sure what to expect. Maybe Pestilence? He's pretty common. Not a good fight, though. Use the candle, hide over the rocks. Not a great item. Actually would have liked to have had him before this floor started. Not gonna bother to look for a secret room. Just a little bit too time consuming. Okay, so that worm thing had a little bit more health than I expected. Let's go to the shop. I'm guessing it's this way. It's not a guarantee. It's just the most likely situation. That the shop is in this direction. Okay, lucky that the candle was able to hit that guy. And I think I hit one of the leapers in the air. I thought I moved out of the way, and I almost moved into the way. Perfect timing on that candle. And I spawned two Larry Juniors. That's too bad. And the poop stopped the fire. That's one of those phrases you hope to never hear in real life. The poop stopped the fire. What kind of situation would he have to be for that to even be possible? Not a good one, I'll tell you that much. Little Chad, he'd be so useful if he dropped the soul heart every now and then. But of course you don't. So I'm just going to go on a, sp a shopping spree. Haven't seen Greed yet, so I'm kind of expecting him on the next shop. So buy what I can, while I can. Plus the treasure map allows me to go and find at the secret room on this floor. So I'll be able to get some of my money back. Mainly doing this to see if I can find the book of revelations and get a soul heart. Terrible damage. The hero font. That will make up for it. What's in here? That's perfect. And I may... I'm not going to take it right now, but I will go back for the Book of Shadows to go out of the curse room. Therefore allowing me to go in and out of the curse room without taking any damage. Looks like just a free bomb there. Let's do the curse room thing first. Just to get it over and done with. Okay, kind of cornered me in there, Mr. Brains. Only two left. One, and done. Don't forget the plan. And the plan was as stated. Let's go grab the Book of Shadows. Don't actually need to fight anything in the curse room if there is something. Like spiders. It's not... It's not obligatory. Or don't have to. And two pills, bombs are key, and... This one. A speed upgrade. That's pretty nice. You know what? I am going to use this bombs are key. And I forgot all about the plan. That was really dumb. And I'm just going to forget about the Book of Shadows then. Well, let's actually use it just once. Because I can. I feel the candle will be more useful than the Book of Revelations. Because I don't have any items to make the Book of Revelations more useful. Therefore, I think the candle will save me more damage in the long run than the Book of Revelations would create for me. Easy now, Mr. Brain guys. I haven't gotten any damage upgrades, so that's a little disappointing. Bloody Penny, that would be nice if I were to find blood bank I think the correct move here 
is to take Judas's tongue into the boss room and then after that there's a deal with the devil or not just after the boss fight go and switch it out for the bloody penny I think that's the right move ultra pride once again as I said before whenever I fight ultra pride I seem to have a pretty strong build this is by no means like an amazing like one shot everybody but it's definitely good enough where I can fly and not worry about the big guys creep and the cannon does pretty good damage and it also stops their shots so all in all I'm pretty well suited for this fight I usually take out the little guy first so a little bit of a change of pace here left hand no thanks stick with this item combination headless horseman means I can get a flying item don't really need that Okay, nice move by the head there. That means he must go. I actually dropped half a red heart. Didn't think that they dropped anything until the fight was over. Okay, get out of the way. Dodging is top priority. And somehow I managed to get a deal with the angel. So I'll take scapular. And and I'll take the bloody penny. Let's continue on to either the depths or necropolis part two. Should, probably should have picked up the pony and then put it back down. This is why I wanted bloody penny was the arcade. Let's do this. This is gonna make it a little bit more complicating. That's okay. Let's pick that up. It's a speed downgrade, but I can afford it. Now this, you have to be careful. These are bomb flies. And the candle could just set them off. And you don't want to damage yourself. Let's do that. One more. Perfect. Who wants money? I want money. Okay, a little bit more often. I drop two cents with each play. Come on. It's not the end of the world if I actually what I should be doing. This works out nicely. Believe it or not, this is going to be my item for now, mainly because I only need to go through one more room. No sense in going all this way, being the one room and then going back. Never mind, it actually would have been really useful to have had the candle for this room, it would have saved me a buttload of time. And I don't know the exact measurements of a buttload, but it's got to be quite a bit. Well, maybe it depends on what you ate. That key. It's a very well suited drop for this particular room. Because it allows me to open up that golden chest. And get a speed upgrade. Okay, I can just go like this. All the way down. To one red heart. Now as long as I don't pick up any half red hearts along the way. I can go in here. Do I want the range upgrade? How badly do I want the range upgrade? Uh, I will say bad enough. Okay. There we go. Getting a little bit more health back.
What was that? That was awful, Bloody Penny. Now I can't do it anymore. I don't want to use up Soul Hearts. So I'm just going to have to do this fight like this. Hopefully I have better luck in the floor outside. Or maybe I should say room outside. Keep getting those mixed up for whatever reason. That's okay. Oh, Chub. Easy, buddy. Don't make me use my chariot card on you. I feel like that'd be a bit of a waste. Would have been really nice to have had the candle in here. But I thought that my health trick would have worked a bit better. To be honest. But also, in the sake of being fair and looking at it, the situation from all different perspectives. I had like five cents, five or six cents on the ground, and no hearts came out, so I kind of got chipped a bit. At least that's how I feel. Because on the turn before, sure, I got, I went three for three, but going over six is much worse than three for three, or than three for three. Okay, in terms of bad. 0 for 6 is much worse than 3 for 3 is in terms of good. Hopefully I explained myself well enough there, but if, if you don't get it, I would just say it's not that important. If you do get it, good for you. You have to understand something that if I had explained to me, I probably wouldn't understand. So I'm going to manage to escape the boss trap room and get a lot of health and a lot of my health back lost a few soul hearts and that's that's a real shame I actually managed to get back to full health how badly do I want to play those other guys not too badly Tem's head nothing special shop is not greed so I'm lucky I went in here. Pick up one of those. Pick up that. Telepills could be useful. That's a much easier way to get a range upgrade. And friends till the end. Pick up the key. I have a lot of money. Hanged man, that's useless. And I think I'm going to stick with telepills here. Just to be able to teleport out of the mom fight. Ooh, nice move by the spider there. He's got mad dodges. Dodges for days. That's okay. The days go by quite quickly in Isaac. I'm over here now. Yeah, you want to do a laser belly. That's a lot of red health. And there is the secret room. Don't think I've gone in it yet. I have not. And if I had found this, it would have been a lot quicker to use that for the boss trap room. But I wouldn't have gotten as much money. Therefore, maybe not as fun. I'm gonna go this way. I have the candle. That is the item that I want right now. I got pretty lucky to find both Bloody Penny and the IV bag on the same run. Oh, easy now, everybody. Don't go in these random patterns. It's not how you play the game. You're supposed to, you're supposed to die. That's how you guys play the game. And then I stay alive. Emperor is a useful card. Perhaps more useful than the chariot. Okay, so my cover was blown there. And I can kind of shoot over the rock. What the candle does, it allows you... If you're on a rock, it allows you to shoot over the rock. But not through rocks. So that's kind of how that works. So I will exploit this as much as I need to to feel safe. I probably could go out right now, but I'd really like to wait till there's just one thing left on the screen. 
Never mind. I almost blew my cover. It worked out in the end. Got rid of that leaper. That was gonna be the annoying part of the room. Believe it or not, it's the leaper that's annoying. Not these mask guys. It's because the leaper can go over rocks. And these hearts and masks, they can't. That makes them a lot easier to hide from, at least. There's these, a case where the hopper goes over the leaper. Leaper goes over the rocks. I don't think hoppers can go over rocks. Could be wrong about that, though. Yeah, everybody wants to get in line. That'd be fantastic. Of course, just run into them, why don't you? Don't want to get hit by their worm belly thing. But I will just run into them. Not sure if that's actually less health taken off. Okay. Easy now. I've done enough damage to myself. A tarot card from that guy, that's interesting. It's the hanged man once again. Mom fight is going to be nice and easy. At least I hope so. Don't see why it wouldn't be. Let's do a few more candles in the door. That could be a good song title. Candles in the door. I wonder what kind of music that would be. Would that be country? Would that be classic jazz? Would it be folk music? Took way too much damage on that fight, but that's just how this whole run is going, apparently. Just in case I go to the I Am Air room, pick up the Bloody Penny. Okay, so there's Telepills. Did it want anything from here? Maybe the Cherry card? But I think taking either the World or the Emperor is going to be better. So. I guess I'm just gonna use the cherry card on one of these rooms. Not that room. Use it here. Okay. If I can't even kill this one guy with the cherry card, what has happened to that card? It's gotten a lot worse. Maybe that guy's just super strong. Could leave. But the neutral flies are almost done. So I'll just deal with them. I think coming up is the Emperor. I'm actually going to take a pass on that. And move on down to the World card. No, I'm not going to do that. Why would I take the World card when I already have the compass and the treasure map? I'm actually thinking ahead for once. And maybe deal with the Angel didn't sound like one not really hoping or my hopes aren't too high yeah I didn't think so do not take bloody penny do not take the world card let's go let's go this way run away okay the rock that was a good positioning by the rock. Not Dwayne, but in the middle of the room. That inanimate object of name known as the rock. Or as rock. Therefore, therefore known by as a rock. Or in some contexts, the rock. As it is the singular rock in the room. Pick up the yonk. Get to the boss room a little bit faster. And I'm actually running low on bombs. So, save as many as I can. And I'm saving them for that mom's heart boss fight that I am planning on getting to. Yeah, standing in the middle of the room, not that great. 
That was a perfect candle. Got caught in the rock and conquest all at the same time. Your beams of light cannot go over these rocks. Oh, easy now, easy. Yeah, you kind of want to know where he's going to stay. Easy. Run away. That was awful timing. Let's see if I can get better timing here. That wasn't great, but when he stops over the rocks, that's pretty much the best I could do. Deal with the angel. I don't need the white pony. Take the prayer card. Basically an HP upgrade. That will kind of substitute for the lack of an item that I got from beating the boss. At least that's how I'm going to look at it. Okay, got rid of one thing. Well, and spawned two more. One step forward, two steps back. There we go. Two of the guys that shoot at me are done. And the stupid guts that roll around are now also done. I can get the doppelganger now. Not quite sure why I'm going this way. I have no need for the arcade. And no need for the library. I can't re-roll items, so therefore I can't actually get items out of the, the library. And with the arcade, it costs one full red heart for each blood bank play. What I guess, I guess if I wanted anything, it would have been some soul hearts from the fortune teller machine did not happen let's save some bombs actually you know what let's go get some bombs from this guy that's a good start can we make it two for two yes we can any more bombs yeah three for three would have been a little bit sketchy your managers might start looking at you if you give out three in a row so I understand. I understand, buddy. Well, he's paying off quite a bit. This is a nice one. It's a nice prize. And that's why it's a nice prize. This allows me to play the blood bank a little bit safely. I really wanted those bombs. I'll take Skatol. I'll take Skatola and get out of here. I'll take some health also. Let's get this guy won't run in again. Okay, did not want to take that eternal heart. It just kind of happened. Now it's pretty much desperation mode here. And by that I mean, it's not like I'm close to dying. I just don't want to lose that eternal heart. So I'm going to need to play really well. Or just really badly and get it over with. Don't want to be strung along. Let's see if I can get these spiders. Not quite good enough timing with that candle. I was actually aiming for the guts on that one. So it's not like it was just... A Horrible shot. Wasn't great. Still, even though I was going for the guts, missed by quite a bit. But it was better than if I was going for the spiders, at least. Should be able to beat this room. Just like that. Three Gertie Juniors. You're all getting the candle. And I'm just going to stay here. This is how this room will go. They will get me another soul heart if I can beat. I took, took some damage. It's okay, I just played a bit safer. They'll give me a soul heart back. 
You know they will. Kind of have only one option, one directional option to shoot in. Can't really shoot to the side. I thought I got hit there. It was just Google Meat doing its work. Come on. I can't shoot to the right. I must play it safe. I'm only dashing. So it's kind of easy, but also difficult all at the same time to predict their movements. Let's go like that. This is going to be slow, but it, hopefully it's going to work. Getting really nervous, actually. Okay, that one dropped the soul heart. I think I can just beat this guy. Or girl. Not sure. I actually picked up the soul heart first. It's a little bit added safety. And keep hiding over top of these rocks. And two more rooms to go before the boss room. This is nice and easy. Thanks, but no thanks, curse room. Double sloth. If you guys could uncover a hidden tinted rock, you'd be the best. You guys would be the absolute best. You could get me an HP upgrade if you guys blow up a hidden tinted rock. Okay, bad timing with the candle. One down, makes this room a lot easier. There goes number two. Hoping for the hero font, didn't happen. And I'm gonna go into the boss room with the magician. And it all comes down to this, really, if I can get that HP upgrade by way of Eternal Heart. Getting caught on the edges of the room is not a good thing. Do that, do that. Still left one on the field. Actually, what I should do when I, as per the usual, when I have the blue candle, wait for a big enemy like monster to spawn out, and then use the candle on mom's heart or it lives while monster is doing his thing, and then get mom pretty close to bombs. And once I can get the bombs going, or at least when I feel close enough, which this is close enough, I'll stop using the candle. And do that. What I call perfect timing. Have to have to get rid of these zombies. Mom's heart is gonna do a little bit of that work for me. Good candle there. Got both the uh, guys. And with one soul heart to spare, I'm kind of tempted to go into the curse room. And I don't really have a choice on this run. It can't end here. It has to keep going on. And it can't go to the cathedral. It has to go into Shoal, it looks like. There's another curse room. But there's also a secret room here. Inside slot machine extra money and you made me lose therefore I will take revenge Polaroid's not going to be useful therefore I'll take red patch use the emperor card try and get this timing down do one of those oh that's late that was extremely late you don't want to it's a huge help when you can get those bomb flies out right away. Good candle at least. I got hit a few times. Not sure if it's getting hit or killing enemies that gives me... It'd be getting hit. It gives me extra damage. So therefore, 
by the end of this fight, I'm going to be pretty powerful. So I'm probably going to take a few hits here and there. Taking this many hits on the Fallen. That's not the best. I actually was trying to get a few extra hits on, on this stage of Satan. I almost dodged in the middle. Almost stayed strong. And just stayed there. Having the candle block some shots for me. That's fantastic. Yeah, I thought you're gonna... I actually managed to fake him out for once. With the candle. Pretty easy. Keep going like this. Okay, a little bit. Definitely late. Not even just a little late. I was extremely late. Blew up a bomb fly right beside me. Fight is not going as well as I thought it would. I should just be a little bit more patient with my candle uses. And that worked out quite well. Taking the red patch was a good choice. And needless to say, even though I did win this run, that actually makes me a little bit more nervous for my next run. Because if you haven't been watching all these videos of my challenge runs, then you wouldn't know my win rate and spoiler alert here i won all nine in a row so far so i'm really hoping i can keep the streak alive and win all 10 of the challenge runs in a row that would just be spectacular and pretty impressive i might add actually although i think coming up to the last challenge run the purest that's going to be the hardest one the most difficult one i think i've only tried it once and I did manage to beat on my first try before, but you never know in this game. They could throw a difficult run at you. This run actually wasn't too bad. A few good items here and there. Not great play at the beginning. Kind of cleaned it up near the middle, but at the end got a little sloppier again. Still managed to pull off the win. If you liked this video, feel free to check out the other Isaac videos on my channel. And until next time, thanks for watching.